Welcome to Flight Sim My Way, where we try and do it by the book, but it doesn't always work, so that's why it's my way. We take off, we land, we try not to crash, and we definitely have fun. So please, follow, subscribe, and like. And welcome Flight Sim fans. All right. Well, we're sitting here in Dulles Airport uh, in Virginia. Uh, or is it D.C.? Or is it Virginia, D.C. or whatever? But it looks like we're sitting on uh, Delta 30, parked at Delta 30 if you wanted to kind of do what I'm doing. But uh, so we're sitting in here. Uh, my... Uh, PMDG 737-700 and we're going to take a little flight down to Atlanta um, Ooh, lightning check it out so let's start this bad boy up flick a few switches and uh, see what happens uh, we're going to do a pretty much a full flight uh, I'm going to run up to about 38,000 feet and um, well hopefully we don't crash when I get to where I'm going <laughs> but uh, yeah we're gonna be flying on um, with uh, Delta virtual airlines I have them the a cars in the background and uh, so yeah we're getting ground power going let's set up the fuel we'll put our fuel in here if you want to follow this stuff um, I don't advise it because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just having fun pushing buttons but I'm using SimBrief, is where I get all my information from. I would put it up on the screen, but um, it's on another computer. Oh no, that's okay. We'll get it done. Uh, we do have everything pretty much uh, ready to roll here. I got, you know, obviously some housekeeping here we got to do. So let's uh, get our position in and uh, where are we we're at k i a d kilo india alpha delta and now we're going to kilo alpha tango lima did i do that right oh it failed I'm trying to do the uh, company route, and I'm going, why doesn't it want to do the company route? Well, you know why it doesn't want to do the company route? Well, I'll show you why. We need to uh, go back up to the overhead. And uh, I forgot to turn the, uh, the what you call it, yeah, the uh, power on. Down. That's better. Now we got the power on. And we get our packs going. And uh, get our APU going. But I had uh, forgotten to uh, yeah, start things. We were just running off of battery power so it wouldn't work. And there it is. I had downloaded SimBrief into the computer and so this is how we get our or at least this is how I get my routes and uh, so just load it on up and clear that out uh, uh, yeah it's a beautiful day here in uh, um, Dulles I'm using the Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and this is a real world flight, uh, Delta 2558. You can look it up like I do on uh, Flight Aware. Get our departure and our flask, and we'll be taking off from runway 30. Execute, and our arrival is going to be um, Ozzy um, 26 right and Zillow execute 
Now I did notice one thing when I do this. The flask or the Zello comes up twice or something. I don't know. I, I'm, <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. That's what makes this so fun. So I kind of cheated and that's how we got that there. And uh, yeah. So now we shouldn't have any discontinuities. Uh, let's go zoom in a little bit. Put this thing on plan. And check and see our steps and make sure we can. It looks good. So. Yep. Everything's moving along there. Looks nice, neat, clean lines. No issues. Yep. Right, right on in. So it should be an easy. Easy peasy. Of course, nothing's ever easy peasy, is it? But, uh, so. Uh, in the background, later on, you'll hear some voices and stuff. I'm using um, the, uh, what do they call that? Light Sim. Uh, real, realistic, FS realistic or something. Yeah. I'll be more specific later on. I'll figure it out. But right now, we're just trying to get all this stuff put in the computer. So I've got the APU running. I guess I just released the ground. Here we get our zero fuel weight. And fuel reserves today. Nope, we'll just do the perf init. Uh, performance initiate and request. And see what they give us. Here in just a second or two. Or three, or four, there we go. Uploaded and ready. So let's uh, clear that out. Push load. All right, so we got 5.3. Uh, <clears throat> 18 cost index. Flight level 38,000. All that looks good. Um, I don't know why, but I've been told to use the TO2 takeoff. Always use flap fives, center of gravity here to get our um, trim set 5.61, and our takeoff speed is 135. None of this is professional. This is just me talking. And let's get this set up here. I'm talking like I'm actually doing it, but uh, today I'm doing a voiceover. <laughs> Yeah, I flew this thing and, um, I don't know, it was a couple of hours flight and uh, I had other things I had to do. So I couldn't get online there and, or uh, on the recording at live at the time. So uh, I'm kind of doing this on the side. But that's okay, because uh, that way I can chit chat and not forget things. Although, I probably will. Because that's why it's called Flight Sim My Way. I'd just like to thank everybody who is watching. Or anybody who is watching. I want to thank you. Appreciate it. Um, hell, even if you've made it this far. <laughs> thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. and Hit that little bell over there. Uh, so you get notifications when I put new videos up. I don't do this for a living. I just like to put up a few videos every now and then. Here's my Navigraph charts. <coughs> and uh, give you an idea of our, uh, of our flight and how it's going to go. Let's uh, yep, show you how this works. We'll click on the little airplane there and we'll go to... What is he doing? Oh, that's not where I, okay, I've already done it? I don't think that was right. Okay, well. Yeah, well, we're, we're at the right airport to start off with, so that's a good thing. Okay, yeah, it is, okay. Uh, yeah. 28, right, yeah, okay. So, we got to be above 3,000. And uh, when we hit that, so uh, 
let's go over here and we'll scroll this all up we don't have ATC today I'm not using any of that uh, sometimes it just you know for me doing videos I'm not really good at this stuff obviously you can tell by the way I'm doing it so it's like uh, you know lights in my way so we'll zip that on up to 38,000 feet and we'll zip this up so that nobody suffocates in the back we don't want to have any issues there and uh, then we have to put in the landing airport altitude at Atlanta which is uh, 1026 1026 feet so we'll put that in there and uh, these go in 50s so we'll do uh, 1050 something like that there you go uh, okay what are you doing that'll work and uh, yeah so we'll get the yaw damper switch on we'll get the wind windshield heat pedo heat we'll get all our gins going hydraulic and electric gener generators I guess that's what they are I don't know I can't believe I've flown this plane a million times and still don't know what half the buttons are but that's okay, because that's why that's flight sim my way. <laughs> Alright, so now let's see what else we got to do. Um, I don't know. We got that going. Alright, let's put the flight directors on. And uh, let's see. We'll get the VNAV and LNAV. LNAV didn't work. Um, I'm not sure why that... There's, there's a reason, and I can't remember right this minute but apparently as you will see later on I couldn't remember a lot of things on this flight but hey we didn't crash I'm telling you trust me or maybe I should say we crashed because people like to see stuff like that but uh, <laughs> yeah it's crazy all right RTO got that got that got that now let's get call for pushback This is uh, yeah pushback planner. It's um, a little add-on for Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 2020. It's uh, it's real nice. I like it. It's easy, simple. Just line it up where you want it to be. Press the Enter key, and that's it. Then uh, look around, figure out what you want to do. Check all your buttons. Get ready to. I thought I had the APU on. Well, anyway, here we go. Let's turn the APU on. We're just sitting here drinking some coffee, enjoying life, right? Dun, 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 dun. And let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <clears throat> there it goes. Here we go. And we'll put some logo lights on. And we'll put some wing lights on. Cranking the plane up. I guess we'll put the position lights on. Seat belts, everybody. Sit down. Here we go. Put your seat belts on. Put your cigarettes out. God. I can't believe it. Back in the day, you could smoke on an airplane. All right, here we go. Come on over here and get rid of the ground power. And let's check and make sure. That all my doors are closed, so we'll close the door. There's the doors closing. Right there, it's closed. 
and I noticed that the stairs weren't moving. And I thought, what in the world? And then it suddenly occurred to me, I had seen it in another video, something that's, uh, that's not on my P3D or anything, uh, or at least I didn't notice it. Um, but you go here to your actions, ground services, and you click it like two or three times. There you go, stairs, get rid of them. Bada bing, bada boom. And you come on outside, and of course after the door shut and the deer, stairs are gone. They're moving back now. Here we go. Okay. See? And we got rid of that. Now let's go ahead and take the wheel chocks, get rid of that. And we'll go back here and put this on legs. And let's go put the brake on. And we will call for pushback. Cockpit to ground. This is ground. Stand by. Pretty cool. I like it. Watch when they hook up. They'll lift it up in the air. Hey, sir. The bypass pin is installed. All doors and hatches closed and all ground equipment is removed. The parking brakes are set. You may lift. Parking brake set. Lifting the aircraft. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Just lift that thing on. We are cleared for start and push. Okay. Cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. Click it. And Parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. Yeah, we'll start in the sequence. All right. Uh, come on, Brooks. Where are you going? Okay, let's uh, put this over the ground. And we will watch to see our N1 spooling up. Well, it's not spooling. Why is it not spooling? Well, I forgot to turn off the left and right packs on the overhead panel. That's what I wrote there. Whoops! That's exactly right. Always remember to start your engines. You gotta turn them off. You gotta turn them off. Now, listen. Ooh, she's revving up now. Get her up to about 24, 25%. And hit that number two button right there. Throw some, throw some fuel to her. There we go. Now we're getting her done. We're backing up. Nice looking picture of Dallas. Welcome aboard Delta Virtual. And thank you for flying with us. Sit back. I think this relax. is a. And enjoy your this is a, 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 a paid. I think I bought Dallas Airport um, scenery. I'll have to uh, take a drone and go fly around okay, one day. Okay, pushback completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Ground. You may disconnect. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. Okay. Get that second engine running. And we'll get strolling here any second now. We'll taxi on out. Yeah, we're using uh, Rex Weather Force 2020 today for our weather, just to see nice out there. By the way, uh, I just remembered, it's uh, FS Realistic. Uh, you'll hear some some voices, like cabin voices in the background, and a cough and stuff. And it's really, really kind of a neat program. I like it. So let's get the fuel. 
and we've got our here I go checking all my things here yep, we'll get to the little buttons there make sure we're on continuous and we got that done that done that done and all that done and we got that one and whoops and that one to auto auto we don't need the APU anymore we can turn that off and he forgets to go back and turn the other pack on yep yep I did I'll make myself a note I think I'll make myself a note right now that I had forgotten to turn the pack on That's why you should always run through a checklist. Have it in your hand. That way you can not miss anything like I did. That's okay. That's light sim my way. Apparently it worked without doing it, but that's not the way it should be done. Now I am not a pilot. I don't claim to be a pilot. And I don't recommend anything that I do in this video for pilots. <laughs> Let me make that perfectly clear. So, uh, yeah. Let's stroll on down then and we'll get on down Light to the runway. Please take your seat. And then we'll... Oh, yep. Stuart, this is have a seat. And we'll be, uh, we'll be right back here. Uh, we'll get off the ground. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll just shut up for a few minutes. Okay, here we are at the runway. And let's, uh, yeah, flick a few more buttons. Put the landing lights on, take the taxi lights off. And we will double check all our switches and make sure all the proper switches are switched, except apparently, um, I don't know why, I kept missing the right pack switch. Well, I mean, I looked right at it, and I just let it slide. I don't know why I did that. Well, anyway, we put the collision lights on. We don't need the wing lights. It's daylight. We don't need the logo lights. But, I, you know, that was silly. But plane seemed to want to fly. Get the auto throttle on. And what else do I need? Yep, we will... Get the system up to where I can see it more closely. Let it throttle up. Like I say, it's uh, no ATC today. Uh, shouldn't be approaching. Shouldn't be three zero. Shouldn't be any aircraft in the way. So uh, I should have looked out the window. Shame on me. There again, lights in my way. <laughs> and, on uh, runway three zero. 
thanks to uh, Wondershare Phil Mora, by the way, for uh, allowing the, uh, or for the quality of this video that I'm shooting here using their product. Uh, well worth the money. Okay, now we can get lined up. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's throttle up. Oops, no, you know what? I got to set, I forgot to set, see, I'm forgetting all kinds of stuff. I got to set the flaps, flaps to five. Should have done that when I was taxing him. Shame on me. See, I don't know, having one of those, one of those days. When you get old, I guess stuff like that happens. <laughs> uh, don't have to get old to forget stuff. And uh, so, now, let's see what we got. Here we go. And hit that toga button. Try and keep it straight down through the runway. And here we go. Gear up. I think I'm supposed to take a notch of flaps off here. And I'm noticing that my PDF is showing the plan. I should have changed that. There's the outer marker. So I'm going to look over to my co-pilot side and I'm going to hand fly and try and figure out what's going on with my side. And of course what it is, like I said, I left it on plan and not changed it to map. Shame on me. I am definitely not a pilot and apparently I'm not a simulator pilot either. <laughs> oh well. And let's just click that in there and uh, do this here and do a direct because uh, I'm trying to figure out and I didn't realize that I uh, hadn't changed my PDF. Which is silly. Alright, well here we go. We got the VNL nav now and we'll put it on co-pilot and we'll all sit back have a drink. Let the plane do its thing. Do its thing. And uh, yeah, now we're getting on course. Now we're getting on course. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of cool stuff about this plane as well. Probably why I keep forgetting everything else, because there's so much stuff on here that you got to remember. But uh, they've got different setups for different planes. You can go into your FMC and fix them and change them. Found a couple of videos on that, different types of um, auto auto controls, auto throttle, stuff like that. auto yeah, autopilot stuff but I don't really know what I'm talking about alright, let's look around, yep, there you go, I should have gotten rid of them a while ago and we'll put these back into normal and we'll go up here and double check all my dials again and still see that I didn't have the pack on. And uh, let's go here, here, yep, we're, we're content. Go back, you need to turn that off. Alright, well, we'll straighten up our heading, make sure. Ah, yes, that's why I can't. Oh, silly me. 
Now we got that straight. All right, now let's get our heading. Oh, oh, too far, too far. Back up. There we go. Get our heading lined up. This is your captain. Always trying. We have now reached an altitude where you may use your approved portable electronic devices. Yeah, there you go. Turn the seatbelt sign on auto, and then we try and click my uh, lights off. I don't know why I couldn't get them to turn. I kept pushing the wrong button. I'll figure it out one day. I'll get them off. Let's go back up to the overhead. Come on, get back up to the overhead. There you go. Let's turn them off this way. There's a one-click way to do it. I don't know why I couldn't figure it out. Now well, I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff I'm forgetting, but uh, for now, we'll just, uh, you know, sit back, relax, have a cup of coffee, glass of orange juice. Yeah, let's get the pressure off. Get the pressure off my landing gear. Hydraulic pressure. Beautiful, beautiful view. So let's just move on up till we get to just below top of descent. And uh, I'll do a couple of things at the top of the set right here is where we are right now. Time flies when you're having fun. And uh, also having a video where you can take a three hour flight and turn it into an hour. <laughs> Actually, I think this flight was, what, two hours, three hours? Yeah. Couple of hours, but anyway, it won't be that long here, I hope. But yeah, so let's get on up to uh, top of climb, and then we'll do a few things of housekeeping. Yeah, we're kind of zooming in here so you can see the. PFD, yep, coming up to 38,000. Alrighty. Now, let's see if I can remember what I got to do here. I think I'm looking for my altitudes. and speed and stuff but uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing right this second <laughs> but I'm sure I'll figure myself out soon enough Hello again from the flight deck. We have now reached our cruising altitude. Okay, so I guess what I'm doing is I'm double checking all of my altitudes and uh, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I don't guess. I know, that's what I was doing. <laughs> checking all my altitudes. Uh, now let's go down here to, uh, to um, the radios and stuff and set that up. 
and uh, let's get the uh, uh, airport elevation and runway length. Get our runway length in. If I do it right, uh, so that uh, we can look at the HUD if we want to land with the HUD. We'll get our ILS runway nav radio settings. Get that right. Just transfer them over now. What the heck? And what else? Okay, now we want to get our course. And we'll set our course for the degrees or the, the, the runway heading of, well, let's see, probably a 275. Yeah. 275 for runway 26 right. And the um, decision height we want to set on our on our PDF over here. The, the peak, I don't know if you can see it, but it's the left screen down at the bottom there. Where that half moon looking thing is, you can see the red numbers changing. That's where I'm setting up the uh, decision height for the airport. speed. Get that in there to the FNC computer. And I think that's pretty much it right now. So uh, we'll look here at our runway. And we're going to come in at 5,000 feet. So we'll set that for 5,000. Usually you don't need to set this up until you're about, I don't know, 10, 20 miles out from uh, 10 or 20 miles out from your top of descent. But I might get distracted making this video, so I like to go ahead and get it out the way because the way things are going, I've been forgetting a whole bunch of stuff. And the decision height we put in at 1190 or 1190 feet and uh, yeah so uh, should be straight in landing shouldn't be a problem and uh, we are right about here so that's where we are so we got a little ways to go so we will sit back and then um yeah i guess what i'll do is uh, get back with you as soon as we get to the top of descent
Okay, well now here we are uh, coming up on the top of descent and uh, hopefully everything will work good. We're set up at 2700 feet which is our uh, uh, objective to get come down to or get to. I can't remember the phrase now but <laughs> anyway that's our uh, uh, our altitude to catch the ILS and uh, so let's uh, let's see what goes on from here hopefully uh, we'll be coming down at the proper rate of speed any second now and uh, yeah, yeah get this thing on the ground it shouldn't be much longer now um, and hopefully Hopefully, let's see, we'll be getting my heading straight here. Yep, keep my heading up. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be down here shortly. Hit that top of descent and click it. All right, we are now going to start descending. Yep, here we go. And uh, so throttles back and all. Sounds pretty cool, buddy. Coming down. We have now commenced our descent into our destination. There you go. Delta Virtual Airlines man just said so. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get down a little closer and uh, see if we can't finish this flight up for you. I don't like to make them too long because, well, hell, I don't even like watching them that long. And it's not a tutorial, it's just a, well, sort of a tutorial. It's like, what not to do in a flight sim. <laughs> oh, Lord. Flight sim model. Kind of, right? Just what I do. I'll get good at it one day. Jake brake there. Oh, <laughs> not a Jake brake. That's in my tractor trailer. I had to use my little uh, speed brake. Slow me down a little bit, but we're we're getting down. We're getting closer. The beautiful countryside out there. Georgia, coming into Atlanta, Georgia. Getting ready to make our final turn. And, uh, we'll be landing this bad boy shortly. Hit the old approach button. Looks like we're locked up good. Yep, we're locked on the. Yeah, now we hit the approach button. And I'll hit the co pilot autopilot button because if you do those two then we can do an auto land and I really don't have to do a whole lot I uh, 
haven't done a lot of free flying there. I said free flying, not free, but no <laughs> anyway. But I, uh, yeah, I normally just do it this way, especially if, if I'm online with uh, Delta Virtual Airlines because um, I like to register my flights and stuff. And if I hand fly it in and I make a big mistake, well, I have to do the whole thing, register the whole thing over and they won't. They won't give it to me, obviously, because I did something bad. But we are coming in a little hot. We need to slow this bad boy down. We need to slow her down. Get down to about 200 and put in I don't know what I'm pushing buttons. Here I go pushing buttons again. I have no idea. But I'm supposed to be slowing down. Let's give her another notch of speed brake. <clears throat> and uh, see what happens. Coming down through them clouds, I tell you what. There we go, clearing up now. And there is the airport out there somewhere. Right straight in front of us. So, uh, won't be long now, we'll be on the ground. There we go, we've captured the glide slope, I believe. We've captured the glide slope. Everything looks good. Let's turn our speed back to 130, 141, something like that. Another notch of flaps. And we need to slow down. I do believe we need to slow down. in there.
the traffic is, but it's there somewhere. There we go. Getting lined up. Here comes the moment of truth. Approaching minimums. The moment of truth. sign is turned off and the aircraft has come to a complete stop. On behalf of everyone at Delta Virtual Airlines, thank you for flying with us and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. Alright, well let's tidy things up a little bit and uh, see if we can uh, get her parked and shut down. In the meantime, I just want to thank everybody for coming by and uh, Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the flight. I tried to keep it short uh, and uh, keep it interesting. And hopefully, the more I do these videos, the more accurate and better I can get at them. And maybe I ought to start using a checklist so I don't forget uh, buttons to push and pull and twist and turn. <laughs> So anyway, all right, well, everybody have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Flight Sim My Way. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you really did, check out my other videos. And please follow and subscribe. And hit that little bell for reminders when I get new videos up. So thanks again and have a great day.